What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about one of the most important, fastest growing, most viral startups in the world, OpenAI. This company releasing the ChatGPT bot, which is the software platform that's pretty much the fastest in the world to hit a million users, the fastest in the world at 100 million users, uh, with this goal of creating an artificial general intelligence. This is like the singularity, the crazy ass sci-fi moment um, in humanity appears closer than ever now that we have this company called OpenAI. And I've recently been thinking about what the hell is this thing? Who owns OpenAI? Um, uh, because at the end of the day, who owns the actual company of OpenAI is who controls the most powerful AI in the world, which may be the most powerful technology that exists in humanity, which has massive geopolitical society, economic implications to understand the incentive structure and uh, the people behind this incredibly powerful technology is in, is ex extremely important. So I'm trying to make this video to shed some light on that. Here's my take, and this, this could be wrong. This is what I've sleuthed together from the internet. Shout out to Aiden who helped me do this research. So founded in 2015, OpenAI was started by a group of tech luminaries, so to speak, uh, Elon Musk, Sam Altman of YC, Peter Thiel, Reid Hoffman, all of these Silicon Valley people from Google Brain, from Stripe, uh, coming together to create a nonprofit entity to advance AI safely. They saw that the risk was coming with AI. They want to do it safely. Then um, a lot of potentially drama behind the scenes happens. Elon Musk was one of the company's leading funders. It sounds like he decided to stop funding the company as much because they were getting into competition in terms of recruiting for AI talent with Tesla, who's developing its self-driving AI. So in the midst of losing this sort of not the, the and, and when you think about open AI, it's like, oh, this amazing AI they're creating. Guess what the dirty little secret economic secret of that is? It costs billions and billions of dollars to scale this and to run the code. Sam Altman has said this could actually be the most capital intensive startup in Silicon Valley history, and they might need to raise $100 billion. So we're going to get back to that later. But first, uh, in 2019, the company switches from this nonprofit model to a new hybrid of a profit, nonprofit entity with a capped profit structure. This is invented by OpenAI, it seems. Very new. Um, I'm equally extremely skeptical and anxious about having a new structure control AI, but also like, okay, well, it's not going to be a greedy for-profit corporation, uh, you know, running in perpetuity to to create value for shareholders. So we are in uncharted waters here. But the idea here is that um, with this new hybrid company, they can raise that massive capital they need to fulfill the business model while also and offer people upside on their investment, but also keep this kind of ethical truth and uh, moral goodness by having the uh, the uh, charity nonprofit portion actually own the upside beyond 100x. So investors are capped at 100 times their money. I've never heard of an investment that caps the max investor return, but that's how powerful this technology is. They raised a billion dollars around then when they changed the structure from uh, Microsoft and Coastal Ventures. That's like the company. The product uh, first released in 2018 with GPT-1, then 2019, 2020, we had GPT-3. This is when it started to get a lot more traction. And then you had GPT-3.5. Late in 2022, this is really when it had its like amazing, insanely viral moment. Um, and if you look at the the growth in this, it is insane. Like time to reach a million users was five days. That dwarfs Instagram, Spotify, Netflix, any other company you may have heard of with this viral growth thing. That's a million users. What about a hundred million users? It took just two months for OpenAI to have a hundred million users. That's four times faster than TikTok, 15 times faster than Instagram. I mean, this is like mind-boggling, unprecedented growth. When you talk about the impact and value that a technology and a company is putting into the world, the amount of users that are it's generating in a short amount of time is pretty much the best metric for that. So by this standard, uh, OpenAI is looking like the most disruptive, the fastest growing uh, thing in tech that's ever existed. Also interesting about OpenAI is, they just recently raised a $10 billion round from Microsoft. The terms of that, we don't actually know. From my understanding, it's less about the cash, more about the server costs. So it looks like OpenAI, the rumors are they doubled their losses to about 500 something million in 2022. Uh, you know, they're not really printing money. They're actually running a huge loss because they're paying for all of these servers to run these massive models trained on trillions of, of data points. And the biggest pain point or friction with these AI companies is the cost for the data centers. So that's why Sam Altman has said the company may need to raise a hundred billion dollars and which is insane because a hundred X return on a hundred billion is like ten trillion dollars. Or I think I did that right. So I mean we're this is this is crazy. Um, Sam Altman also is rumored to have no equity in the company. Um, 
And there was this whole thing where Elon Musk and other tech luminaries tried to pause the advancement of ChatGPT and other AI things so we could get regulation to catch up. It doesn't look like that worked. So now, all said and done, we are in this very interesting uh, position right now. My, the cap table, who actually owns this 100x capped investment in OpenAI, it looks like Microsoft has a big chunk. VCs like Kosla Ventures have a big chunk. Um, and those are the people who are going to capture the financial upside um, from OpenAI. If In Microsoft, you think about their upside maybe even bigger than 100x because they don't even get paid back on their investment. They're just going to make all their money on server costs. In fact, this alone has made me more bullish on Microsoft and their cloud business because if OpenAI is using them um, and they are just racking up these massive compute costs, that is going to be a huge driver for revenue and growth for Microsoft. So uh, OpenAI, who controls the nonprofit that controls the whole entity? Because these investors are capped at 100x, they're going to get their money out. They don't actually control who owns the AI. That's this nonprofit entity. Um, I'm assuming that's run by Sam Altman. So the company isn't actually that big in terms of revenue, but in terms of impact, I mean, this is already making so much. It's, I mean, half my friends who work at big companies are already using this to write emails, um, are using it in their day-to-day -day jobs, whether their employers know it or not. Um, I mean, the um, the impact this is having um, is insane. The other thing that freaks me out about AI is I don't even think ChatGPT's mode is that big because the data is a big piece of it and the model's a big piece of it. The models seem to get commoditized quickly and are replicated in this open source community and then anyone can do what they want with them. So we, I don't even know, this is this is scary as shit to be honest. Um, and I, I frankly find some comfort in the fact that this AI company is being developed in the US. They're trying to think through how to limit the profit potential, run it as a nonprofit. Um, those are all really good things that they're trying to work on. I'm glad like big U.S. tech companies like Microsoft are controlling the servers that this runs on. Um, and right now it's very contained. But I mean, this is crazy. OpenAI is the most disruptive and potentially powerful uh, economic world changing technology we've ever seen. It's proven that it is extremely effective and valuable. And that's why it grew to 100 million users in two months, the fastest growing piece of software of all time by a huge margin. Um, and this is just worth watching. So I want to make this video to just start the conversation. Who owns the open AI nonprofit? What are their motivations? What are their incentives? What is the true goal um, with this? Because there's so many ways the AI can go. You know, it spits you ask it if. Um, it likes Elon Musk. It might say he's a controversial figure. And why does the AI get to decide that? How politically correct is the AI? How woke is the AI? Um, how literal does it take our commands? Um, these are all very scary, crazy things. And the governance of who controls these AI systems is extremely important to figure out their incentive systems and how to control them. So that's why I'm making this video. We need to put a ton of attention on who owns the AI, who's profiting from the AI, and what their incentives are. This is HyperChange. Shout out to Aiden for helping me with research on this video. Hit me in the comments below or the tweets below, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.